Good morning, folks. Starting off with hints of the electric universe. New star has caught flaring near the center of our galaxy at what they believe to be our black hole. They continue to say they expect this is occurring when our hole is eating other celestial objects and the measurable emissions are in the X-ray spectrum. That's precisely what happens when a sun-diving comet creates a flare in CME. Point for the Thunderbolts. Following up yesterday's Indian flood story, we are in day five of the cyclone that comes back every time it appears to be headed out, just refuses to go away. Winter has arrived in China with a bang. A cyclonic low feeding off the China Sea and Arctic air converges over the northeast and dumps tons of snow. First time of the Australian spring this year, I've noticed a cyanobacteria warning. Kids and pets are at the highest risk. The aftershocks are continuing on the Canadian west coast days after the 7.7. A bit south, anything over 4.0 in the Gulf of California could suggest an uptick. Also took some fair-sized quakes in the Indian Ocean and Indonesia. Focusing back on Australia because the storms are going to be lasting for a while with a quick look ahead. This line of thunderstorms cutting across the country is the wet dry convergence sucking into the cyclonic low just south of the continent. Notice how these spin opposite of how they do in the north. Yesterday's U.S. watch zone was active as well with a tornado and all the U.S. precipitation records. Watch that explode over East Texas and Louisiana. The real U.S. weather story, however, is what's happening in the Sandy Disaster Zone. Cold air still coming down in from the north. Sandy's low spinning up there still. Could bring a nor'easter later this week. Forecast temperatures show a decline all week, with low temperatures on Thursday becoming deadly for anyone without power or shelter. Quick look at the sun. As you know, flares are pretty much non-existent right now, and our atmosphere continues to collapse. These sunspots are kind of pitiful looking. Anywho, you can notice a bright area appear out of nowhere. In between the dark coronal holes, a sunspot is born. It's in development, but turning away from the Earth. We had a huge blast just behind the eastern limb. We'll see that area turn in midweek. NASA expects that dark coronal hole to impact Earth tonight. The plasma filament beneath it released like we anticipated. Luckily, it was mostly benign. Most of the energy went back down and ejecta is minimal. We also had a tiny eruption on the southeast. We'll have to watch that area for more. Tarred fireballs begin now, one week till the planets begin to line up. Corona hole stream on the way. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.59 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.